plasma PRP. Now this is one of the most popular treatments for hair loss. But what happens is now in 2022, there are these new technologies which have come up which have made a better version of PRP which is called GFC, Growth Factor Concentrate. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to just explain what is the difference between platelet-rich plasma and the Growth Factor Concentrate therapy. Now both PRP and GFC are basically treatment for hair loss. So both more or less the process remains the same wherein the blood is drawn and then centrifuge and then injected into the scalp. Now let's talk about the differences. What makes GFC better than PRP? Let's go through some points. So as far as PRP is concerned, it's been popular for many many years and it has been successful for quite some time. When they launch GFC, the tubes are way too premium. So this is like the latest technology as far as the hair growth treatments are concerned. So uh, the first uh, difference would be GFC will be your latest technology in hair loss compared to PRP. Now usually after the centrifuge process, the yellow fluid that you can see in the video, in the platelet-rich plasma, in the PRP treatment, the yellow fluid also has some amount of unwanted cells as well like WBCs and RBCs. Now this basically once it's injected into the scalp, the growth factors are then released. However, in GFC, in GFC basically these tubes have certain molecules which separates the growth factors from the blood. So what you can see in the video, the yellow fluid after the centrifuge process is pure growth factor concentrate. So obviously when this fluid is injected into the scalp, the results are way better because it's pure concentrated form of growth factors and technically growth factors is what required to promote hair growth so that the cells can multiply and to thicken the hair shaft. So the major difference between these two is in PRP the growth factors are not separated whereas in the GFC tubes the growth factors are separated. It's a concentrated form of growth factors which obviously leads to better results. When it comes to PRP, there are certain amount of unwanted cells also which is injected into the scalp. So when it's injected, the results are obviously slow. Whereas in GFC, directly the growth factors are separated and injected into the scalp. So the results are way better and you'll see that the results would take lesser time compared to PRP. So in terms of number of sessions as well, you may need lesser sessions compared to PRP. For example, if in PRP you need around 8 sessions, maybe in GFC you would see the same amount of results or even better in 5 sessions. Let's discuss the next point, pain. Now because of the consistency, when in PRP, like I mentioned earlier, there are these unwanted cells, so the consistency is very thick. So when it's injected into the scalp, there's some amount of pain. Whereas in GFC, this is pure growth factor concentrate, so the consistency is very, very thin. So when you inject it, it's not painful at all. So obviously, when it compared to PRP, there is almost no pain in GFC. So let's sum it up, if you compare PRP and GFC, PRP is an older version and GFC is obviously the latest version as far as the hair loss treatment is concerned. In PRP, after the centrifuge process, there are certain unwanted cells which are injected into the scalp. But in GFC, the growth factors are separated and then injected into the scalp. Hence, you will see better results in GFC, it's less painful and you will obviously see better result in lesser time. So if you're considering PRP, we definitely suggest going ahead with the GFC treatment. Just make sure the dermat who is doing it is very well experienced because in GFC, the penetration of the needle is very very important. If it's at a superficial level, you may not see results, but if it gets too deep, it may just cause some nerve damage. So just make sure they are using the right tubes, these are not substandard products. I think we've covered most of the points so if you still have any questions please comment in the comment box and we'll be happy to answer. Thank you so much and please subscribe to American Hairline.